Greetings, greetings, greetings. Peace, love, and light family. I am Sis D. How are all you wonderful people doing? A special shout out to the delightful family and to the Vibe Up Y'all tribe. How are y'all doing? Are y'all doing all right today? And also, let me say a very special welcome to the first time viewers of the channel. I hope it brings to the most high that you enjoy the content that I'm going to bring to you on today. Even though it's heavy, but I hope that you enjoy it, okay? And that you can pick up a nugget or a grain and glean something from this message today and carry it with you on throughout the remainder of this week. Yep. Yeah. So with that being said, all you special ones that have been sending me messages, words of encouragement or emails, I'm a little bit behind, but I definitely will get to y'all, okay? Thank you so much for the kind words also. I just want to dive right on into this topic, so hopefully it won't be super, super long. This message is actually just kind of a reminder message or food for thought. For some of you, you've already heard this message, and I'm just going to kind of expound and open it up a little bit. For those of you who have not heard anything of the like, then please stay, stay, feel free to stay tuned to the end of the video. I'm sure that you'll get something enjoyable or informational out of this video, okay? So the topic today is, today is of course, July the 4th here in the States. Some people are celebrating Independence Day. Independence Day, if I'm not mistaken, I have I've been out of school for a very long time. Independence Day happened uh, July 4th, 1776, if I'm not mistaken. Here's the question that I would pose to you guys, and I'm speaking specifically right now to you melanated people, to you chosen ones, to you indigenous natives. Where were you in 1776? What were you and your people, everybody that looked like you, what were you doing in 1776? rhetorical question I can answer that for you you so-called Hispanics you so-called Latinos you so-called Hispaniolas you so-called Puerto Ricans guess where you guys were in 1492 beginning in 1492 you guys were in captivity aka slavery hmm you know that did you of course this is this just not saying this don't believe me don't trust me I want you to go do your research I want you to go follow up and check and see, make sure it says D is right. The conquistadors came over, i.e. Columbus and his band of raiders, the murderers, thieves, and genocide starters came over and took the indigenous people captive, i.e. put them into slavery. They were enslaved beginning in 1492. Papal bulls out of Rome, right? Spain, Queen Isabella the second, third or fourth, I can't remember, but I'll put that in there too. So from 1492 on up past that time, you guys were so-called property of Spain. Where do you think Hispaniola comes from? Where do you think Hispanic comes from? property of belonging to I'm going to put it on the side so while I'm talking y'all could be reading and listening to me while I'm saying it y'all could be paying attention so why are you celebrating this day of independence that doesn't belong to you was never designed for you never had you or your people in mind why are you giving back to this economy why are you putting all your thousands and thousands of dollars into celebrating this day that doesn't belong to you. You were not free here. There was no independence for you. You were in chains and snacks, shackles. Paper genocide was happening for you. Gadites. You First Nations people. That they took and enslaved. Paper genocide. All you First Nations people. Who come out of the eastern seaboard. Where those tribal peoples were already there. And had been there for ages i'm talking about a couple hundred eight years 400 500 years first nations people have been there virginia maryland massachusetts new york south carolina already cultivated already land was already taken care of pequot people first thanksgiving 
1776. Y'all was slaving away for somebody. Or y'all were being forced on reservations or out your out your in in out your inhabited lands. That's what y'all were doing in 1776. I don't remember when the Trail of Tears happened. I should, but I don't. I'll put that on the side too. Okay, so now the other side. You so called black people, you so called African Americans. What were you doing in 1776? Mind you, some of our ancestors didn't step foot on these soils until 1619 as captives. Some of us were already here and had been here and had been trading here for a very long time. Mm -hmm. I know the lies they told you that we had not been here. It's not true. We had been trading, bartering. We had already had people here in South America and Northern America. I know what they told you not true we were going back and forth how do you think you latino people get the beautiful melanated skin that you get the curvy features the beautiful lips the, all the rhythm that you have those are carryovers from the motherland baby we are the same people <laughs> yes we are so y'all out here celebrating Woo! happy fourth of july for what what is happy about it? What are you actually celebrating? Your people or anybody that looked like you were not independent. You were not free. So let me take that. That's the natural part. Now, now let me take that spiritual. We are chosen ones. We are holy seed. We should be different. We should look different. We should behave different. We should think different. We should worship different than the masses. If you do not, what's so chosen about you? What's so wonderful about you? What's so unique about you? The scripture says, come out of her, my people, and partake not in her sins. Fourth of July and all of the celebration, matter of fact, all of the New Babylon, America, KKK, all of their so-called festivities have carryovers from old Babylon. That's why this place is new Babylon. All of them. And I'm going to get into it. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm going to get into it. Anyway, so the spiritual part also is not only does the scripture say, come out of her, my people. The scripture also says we are supposed to be a peculiar and holy people. I'm paraphrasing. I'll put the scripture on the side so you guys can read it. We're supposed to be a peculiar people. Peculiar means different. Unique. There's something a little bit not regular. In a, not in a bad way, but just something different about these who call themselves chosen. The women don't dress like the other women outside. These men don't behave and speak like the men on the streets. I know. Because we're called to be peculiar we're called to be set apart if we are truly the remnant then the world should begin to see the difference about us now it's the season and it's the hour now so the world should begin to say hmm yeah okay well there's something different why is her head always covered why does she where's her at? eyelashes at she don't have no fake why she don't have no contacts in why are her nails in for you fellas he don't have his pants second. He not worried about the newest ones. He not worried about the newest easies. Why is he so, why is he dressed like that? Why is she dressed like that? That's what the world should be saying now. Because we are peculiar people. We are set apart people. We should not move like the world. We should not uh celebrate like the world. We should not partake in the world's sin. We should not we should be so far left of what the world is doing that the world clearly identifies us as a different chosen holy people we should not be doing what the if you're doing everything the world is doing what is different about you that's the question i would ask yep anyway 
with that being said i don't want to be a really have this be a really really long video but i want to stop right there and say thank you thank you thank you so much for y'all taking time to share with sister on um, today i hope you were able to glean something to that message i know it was kind of heavy and i took it straight hot real quick on y'all but i'm gonna pick it right back up and say i hope that y'all were able to glean something from this message i hope and pray to the most high that you guys have a great and safe day if you guys are going out because it is the holidays in the states in the states y'all please be safe remember there are people on this road who are not in their right minds because they have been indulging a little bit too much so y'all be safe on the roads um to my delightful family to the vibe of y'all tribe i see y'all i see y'all may the most high bless you all and keep you all and as you go into the furtherance of this day and this week may the most high be with you um and i'm gonna go ahead on out and close on out like i genuinely always do by saying vibe up y'all vibe up this is the animal <laughs>